What's going on guys, Tyler here. Hope you guys are having an awesome 2021 so far. Today we're talking about another feature to use for your Elementor website. Now, if you guys aren't subscribed yet, be sure and smash that nice red look and subscribe button, join the family, be notified of upcoming videos just like this one, as well as other Elementor videos. I will be talking about Elementor 3.1 in a future video coming out very shortly, so you'll wanna make sure that you're subscribed. All right guys, as always, if you're interested in any of the resources that we talk about in today's video, be sure and check the links down below in the description. I have links to Elementor Pro, which is the premium version of Elementor, phenomenal plugin, adds so much to your website for a very low price. So see what kind of price you can get for that. And also my very favorite host, this is a host that I use and I'll be showing you in this video today. So check out that link if you're looking to upgrade or start a hosting plan. They have great prices, great deals, and they are the best host in my opinion. They have phenomenal speeds, so many awesome features. We're gonna talk about one of those features today, but so many, so many awesome features. So check that out. Now let's go ahead and just talk about this feature. So this feature basically is when you are developing your website and you're going to deploy a new feature on your website or you're going to redesign your website from scratch or maybe you're adding pages to your website or maybe you're just simply adding a plugin that you want to add to your website and sometimes things go wrong. Sometimes plugins don't mesh and the page crashes. Sometimes your redesign doesn't look the same on mobile and tablet and desktop. Sometimes there's there's just issues that happen and you don't want your customers coming to your website while you're mid construction. And what's worse than having a customer come to your website and a big banner across your page that says we're under construction or come back later, temporarily closed, you know, things like that. That's not really what we want to do. We want our customers to have a great experience, especially because this could be their first impression with our business or with our website or with our brand. So we want them to have a good user experience. So what do we do? Basically, this feature that we're going to take advantage of is called staging. Now, staging is actually super cool. You have your original website, you've made no changes to it, right? And what we're gonna do is stage a new copy. So we're basically going to duplicate your website and have a new carbon copy of your exact website and then make all the changes there. Totally redesign everything, um, add the new plugins, anything you wanna do, you can do to this new carbon copy. And you're thinking, oh great, the process of like transferring everything over and re doing it all or having to back up and restore and things like that. It's actually not that hard. Staging makes this very easy and they have this kind of like develop and then deploy um, kind of cycle in mind when they're when with this staging feature. So let's go ahead. Let me just jump into my computer here and show you what we're looking at. And this website actually came from an email from a Elementor customer support rep, which was super cool. Um, he was kind of showing me how to do this and, and help me go through this. So basically, WordPress allows you to do this very, very easily. And so this article right here, I'll have this link down below in the description. It basically goes over how to create a staging environment. And there are various hosts that allow you to actually do this. Um, Bluehost right here, it'll show you how to do it. My personal very favorite website, link down below in the description is SiteGround. SiteGround is super easy to do this. And I'll show you why I love doing it through SiteGround right there. Um, there's WP Engine, there's all kinds of different hosts that allow you to do this but check with your host your host might allow you to actually do this and if it does it makes it super super easy and it makes it so basically your your visitors that are coming to your website are still going to your old website over and over and over and you're just doing all the work and all the you know dirty risky possibly you know causing problems work over on a completely different website so it's not even going to affect your user experience on your main website so let's go ahead and actually go to the site tools here of SiteGround and show you what a staging copy looks like. Now basically I have here, I've gone under my WordPress toolkit here in SiteGround. I've gone to WordPress and staging and I have here my website ready to go. And um, basically what we're gonna do is create a staging name. Now I just did this so I'm not actually gonna go through and, and create another staging copy. But basically you go through and name a staging copy. So I've named it right here, Elementor 
test staging site and I created it just a few days ago there and last deploy was never and I'll show you why that that last deploy was never here but what we're gonna do is actually go ahead and click on here and you'll see what it brings up all right so awesome so here is the new website here this is my staging copy you can see it's actually a subdomain up here it's a staging two dot Tyler e Morrison dot com and you can actually go right into this and log in if you put slash admin in here you can actually go and log into WordPress just like it's a total complete WordPress website. And from there you can do everything that you need and to log into it and you can, you know, make changes, updates, add plugins. It's a totally separate WordPress website. So treat it just like your full website. Now, one thing to note is it actually will create a copy of all of your WordPress users. If you use your admin login to log into your website or your WordPress backend, you'll actually use that same exact login to log into your staging copy website here. So here I am still on my staging copy here, staging2.tylerymorrison.com. I've logged in. So let's go ahead and actually go over to the home page and we can make some changes here. Okay, so for example, we're here on the home page. Let's just make some changes here so you can see what this is like. I'll drag those over there, that right there, and we will get rid of this and delete this column. Okay, perfect. Those are the changes, let's say, I wanted to make to my website, and so I did it here on my staging copy of the website. Now let's go ahead and hit update down here, all right, so we're now gonna take a look at the changes that we made here to the staging website. As you can see, they were reflected right here. And again, this is on staging2.tyleremorrison.com. So we're not on the original website. The original, the, the original website has unchanged, so the visitors are still going over there. So if we actually take a look at the original website, you can see this is what the visitors going to our website right now actually see. They see the original version right here. And then once we're actually ready to deploy these changes that we've made here at staging2, dot tyler e morrison dot com once we were ready to deploy these changes right here we're ready to send them over to the main website watch this this is pretty amazing so basically what we have is we have the old version here on tyler e morrison dot com we have the staging two version over here and what's going to happen is right over here under this action and again it will be different for all of your different hosts that you're using, your web hosts that you're using. But right over here for SiteGround under your actions, you can click this and you can do a full deploy, which means staging two will actually replace the Tyler E. Morrison website. And all of a sudden Tyler E. Morrison will now point to a brand new, totally redesigned, whatever you did to staging two, it will be deployed right there. You can do a custom deploy, which means you're only deploying certain parts of it. So maybe, you know, you only want like certain parts of the website to be updated. You can do that. It will custom deploy like certain parts and replace it there. You can destroy it, meaning completely, you know, just get rid of that staging copy there, totally destroy it there. Um, you can replicate it. So say, you know, you're, you are want to A-B test or something like that, or you're not sure which version your client is going to like better. So you design the whole website. Let's say you have your website designed here and it's all like, you know, gray or something like that is your main color. Then you design like a red color and you're like, oh, my clients are going to love this red color. And then you're like, oh, wait, what if they love the blue color? So you just go ahead and hit replicate, design it a blue color. And then you have these two different staging setups. You can deploy a red or you can deploy a blue. You can see you have different URLs for them. So you can send them to maybe like your, I don't know, your boss or your associates or whoever, see what version they like best. And then you can actually deploy these right in here with a full deploy or a custom deploy. And if you need to rename it, it's right there. Guys, this is actually going to be super, super useful. I don't know if you realize like how useful this will be because you're not going to have to back up your entire website, meaning you're not going to have to worry about daily backups, monthly backups, um, actually finding a backup plugin or anything like that. Staging just allows you to create multiple copies so you can just handle multiple copies. It's just like duplicating a file on Mac or it's just like copy and pasting the same exact file on Windows you just have another version here you can make all the changes and if you like it then good just replace that original file if you don't like it then go ahead and just get rid of it I think it's super awesome and if you're using this here in 2021 you're gonna be ahead of the curve because when people really 
run into mistake, run into you know issues and errors and make mistakes, then their website just completely crashes and crumbles. So I highly recommend you protect all the hard work you've put into it and use this staging here. Again, you can check out that, that uh, article from Elementor down below in the description. Also, one thing I will say is SiteGround is phenomenal because it makes daily backups of your site. If this staging system wasn't easy enough, I mean, it's super easy. If for some reason you really messed up, you didn't know what you were doing and you really messed up, you lost everything, SiteGround has daily backups of your website. It's like, it's so, so easy. So I highly recommend you check out SiteGround down below in the description. And again, you can get a great price. Even if you're just renewing hosting with someone else, check out SiteGround, consider them. I have a video all about them coming out very soon. So be sure and smash that nice red look and subscribe button and join the family. Be notified of that video and other Elementor videos such as Elementor 3.1. And guys, thank you so much. This has been Tyler. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Take care.